What's going on everybody? Welcome back to another Madden 22 gameplay and here we go with the tournament man If you know what happened already, you know what happened But this is uh, a tournament game of the ultimate kickoff the first tournament of the year Xbox side round of 32 versus Canes one of my good friends one of my lab mates um, We matched up in the round of 32 and it was a classic to say the least I'll be breaking this game down seeing what I saw seeing what I didn't see a uh, couple misreads and all that good stuff all that stuff you'd like to watch and view i got this in this video it says watch till the end it's a crazy game um and there's gonna be just more content like this and if you do enjoy that hit that sub button like it up you know comment what you guys want to see next on to the gameplay all right guys fair disclaimer um i forgot to hit record but thankfully my friend canes was stream uh streaming this to youtube he sent me the link after the game so, you know, I could rewatch it. And here we go. We have exclusive, um, you know, kind of hidden footage because sometimes I do forget to hit record on my tournament games. I have footage from, you know, the earlier rounds, but they weren't really, you know, worthy of posting. There were a couple of blowouts, I guess you could say. And this right here is an instant classic, like I said. So, so just make, keep in mind that, you know, the roles are reversed. As you see, he's on offense. It shows his play art just because he was streaming. Um, I'm obviously rocking the Raiders uniforms. I'll always rock them. But here we go. Kane starts off with the ball on the 25. I'm in this 3-3-5 wide. Um, first play, pretty good coverage, except he, you know, escapes out the pocket. And, you know, we actually get a sack, but, you know, it's not really a real sack. He just goes out of bounds, honestly. Gain, loss of one yard. That's a pretty good way to start off the game. And, you know, I did run a lot of coverage in this game. That's one thing I'm already going to tell you guys that I wish I didn't do. It's right here, easy reads, super easy reads. Um, I should have just guarded that running, uh, excuse me, that drag route. I should have played a better bait. My user this game was very sleepy. It's another thing you guys will see. Um, I just really wasn't on it on defense in this game. But, you know, it is nonetheless still a tournament game. It's right here. He is going super fast with the quick hikes. And you see right here, really good defense. We know the delay fades come in. And Cam Chancellor, crazy user. Best user in the game, and man, I wish I could get up and avoid David Bakhtari. But look at Cam with that dark visor. Just a badass, man. He Unfortunately, I didn't have the new updated one, but I did have, uh, you know, still 91 speed on him. Just Acrobat. i probably get that without Acrobat, um, but nonetheless, just a nice way to start off the game. Like, I got a pick on my first set, uh, my first defensive drive. I'm thinking, you know what? This game's over. Um... You know, let's just let's just watch how it plays out. It's right here, guys. We're gonna hit a flat George Kittle short side bunch, Carolina bunch, uh, four six defense, Carolina bunch. George Kittle is a twenty seven yard line, right here, guys. In the tight, a formation you guys will be start you know start seeing a lot of me you know running it and just in general. It's right here, easy corner routes. Um, I kind of wish I passed it a little better, maybe racked it, but I'm on the five, man. There's no excuses. We got to score right here. It's right here, man. I really wish I call dive. Instead, we call stretch, and he's there to meet us. Um, you know, we don't lose a yard, but we don't gain a yard. And like I said, man, the red zone is just a super tough spot for me right now. Now thinking about it, I think he ran commit. I definitely should have passed. That's just something I do a lot in these games is, you know, I, I kind of like to psych my opponents out and hit them with the, you know, if you run commit, I'll throw a pass when you're not expecting it, or I run, I run. Um, in general, you know, I kind of played a little passive right here as we are going to set up a play and we have a dot, man. Um, Devin Hester was wide open. I really do wish I blocked someone. But nonetheless, I was pretty good defense. He manned up my running back. He had a vert on the right, a uh, deep half on the right. I could have, like I said, played that a little bit better. But, you know, it is what it is. We just got to move on to the next play sequence. It's right here. We tried to run a nice little play that I had been labbing. And it's just, it does not look pretty. It's right here. Um, I, I think I had Brandon Marshall wide open. I tried to freestyle something, and yeah, just not the move. I probably still should have caught that if we're being real, but it, no, no way it was a good read. And right here, like I said, man, you're going to see this form a lot, not only in this game, but in just the uh, months and weeks coming. It's right here. This is a baseline pressed quarter, guys, and he gets amazing pass lead. He actually got an under pressure and accurate. And I don't think that would have been completely open, but, like, the ball somehow went, like, ahead of my guy. And he kind of got a crazy swerve. So, I mean, crazy swerve action going on. It's right here. I try to click on D-Ware. Y'all seen that? I think I was about to go crazy if I did a split second earlier. But look at how he's playing, man. He's rolling out quite a bit. 
just quite a bit, man. And, um, you know, he just loves escaping. Uh, it's right here. We kind of get some good pressure. And, you know, it, we end up tackling him for a loss of two. It's right here, guys. Uh, he's going to audible once more to the tight slots, halfback weak formation. And this formation right here is very lethal as we play pretty good defense. But, bro, he escapes again. And, like, right there, those are plays I'm just super fast with usually. This game, I was kind of, like, going through it. But, like, usually I click on the Buda Baker there, make him make a tough decision. Um, just wasn't happening right there. And once more, easy reads. Um, actually, we actually play pretty good defense right there for once. And he ends up taking a sack. But he did have the uh, right side hitch for a split second. That's what I was referring to, easy reads. It's right here, we get in dollar. Big mistake. We get in dollar. We try to send some heat. And he literally runs the perfect play. Just amazing play. Look at this uh, stop and go route. Just splits the seams, and he's going to get seven on that. I ran cover two out of dollar. Try to send some heat, show him something he hasn't seen. I really wanted to sack him out of field goal range, but that's a big no-no in this game, man. You can't do that type of things. Um, you see I'm kind of already frustrated, man. You can't do that type of things. Like This is just not a game where you could sack someone out of field goal range. It's too easy to get points. And also another point is he was already on like a second and 18, and I, all I really had to do was hold prevent defense. He probably would have ended up taking three to tie it up, I'd say. But, man, just, just like, what am I doing out there? I'm looking really lost. This game, I will say, I played really fantastic on offense. Um, obviously, don't take that first drive because I was literally just pinned in. I played really good on offense. I mean, it is pretty easy to play offense in this game. Everyone knows that. But I really felt like I was in a tournament mode. Um, just, you know, throwing easy reads here and there right here flood route roll out to get a nice little uh you know easier read and route tech just absolutely torches that it's right here we go in the tight slots halfback week and we are gonna just at just try to catch him off guard run a little bit of four verticals uh try to see if he was in cover three we had maybe a couple things open but it's all good we'll move on to the next play and downs right here we are gonna run verticals and um Right here, man, we end up taking our 7 to 10 yards. I mean, Daniel Jones, man, he is his set feet lead is broken, boys. Don't tell me I didn't tell you. I had to find out the hard way. You'll see that in a couple of plays coming up here soon. Um, but I will say he is so fast. Like, it doesn't even make sense how fast he is. It's right here, guys. Same play again. We ran four verts. Running back is wide open. Get a kind of ass rack animation, you could say, but, you know, it's fine. It's not like it was fourth down or third down. And what I'm noticing a lot is he ran a lot of cover four, a lot of cover four match. Um, right here, more coverage. And I kind of miss easy reads. We end up throwing it away. We had the corner out just screaming for me to throw it to him. Uh, that double post corner out is, been, is uh, solid, I guess. But, like, there's been instances where I don't know if it's a route running or what. He just does not look open. I don't want to throw it to him. You'll see that, too, coming up very shortly. And right here, man, third and four. We're going to run a little bit of short side bunch, man. And this is going to catch him off guard. He runs quarters on the right, and look at this bomb. Absolute bomb. And guess what? We get it under pressure and accurate or on the run and accurate. Um, that's on me. I'm not even mad at that because I threw the ball on the run when there was no need to. I thought I was getting shedded. I actually was getting shedded, but I could have stood tall in the pocket and thrown it. To be fair, I thought that third was going to kind of drift back. And, you know, uh, the safety was going to make a play, but he was just nowhere near it. That's why I kind of want to roll out a little bit to make it more open. But, you know, in reality, that was just wide open. And, you know, I was pretty mad after the, that play, but we had to bounce back, man. It's fourth and four. We get stopped right here. It's not looking good at all. We run cover. F uh, we run this smash return play. He runs man, and his guy gets absolutely bumped. Did you guys see that? Minka Fitzpatrick gets bumped. We break a tackle, and beautiful, man. We get into the end zone. George Kittle hits him with that signature celebration. And I know he was pretty mad about that because I would be too. He ran man. I probably should have been a bag. I mean, I have short and elite. It could have been wide open as well. But um, he bumped into the purple. And that's a thing that happens so much this year when you run man. It's just not good, man. It's not good at all um, having wide open players like that, like, I'll take it though, you know. I will take it gladly after the, especially after that uh, play prior. I overthrew a wide open touchdown. It's right here, guys. Back on the defensive side of things, and look at this, man. We've been playing pretty good defense. I can't even lie. 
Uh, this first half, I felt like I've been playing pretty good defense. It just so happened to be like that that second drive. He just I don't even know what happened in that second drive. Just bad re recognition by me uh, doing things I shouldn't have done. It's right here. He is going to curl route Lance Allworth, and it's beautiful. It's a beautiful read, man. Um, excuse me. I missed it. This was a prior play later on in the game. Um, we actually sent the heat right there, and our three wreck bagged it. That was actually beautiful defense by us to get you know him to a third and long. And, like, here we go, man. A third and long. Can we get off the field? Like I said, I've been playing decent defense to this point. Um, once more coverage, and I don't like that. And there's the curl route that I was thinking of. He ran the curl route once more. Um back-to-back -back plays honestly and i really do wish i had like a youtube stream up or something so i could re-watch what happened like what route combos he was going to because i had no idea he would run the same route combo again honestly uh, but there's no way to expect it and here i have no idea what happens he busts a outside sweep for a touchdown um not comp entirely mad at that because we do get ball a half we can make this last possession of the half double dip the chip get ball a half and potentially go up two possessions but man, man, like third down again, and we can't get off the field right there. Um, just not really good defense. I wasn't in my bag certain plays. Certain plays, I feel like I was just playing too passive on defense. And, you know, that's something I really don't do too much. It is what it is. We got to, you know, we can move the ball. That's all that matters. We do get ball at half. This is looking really, really good for us. It's right here, guys. We are going to run the ball, you know, just get that clock moving a little bit. Uh, we get ball at half. Like I said, this needs to be, like, I want this to be the last drive of the game. Excuse me, the half. He's right here, man. A lot of cover two, a lot of match. Um, that's kind of just the basics of this defense right now at a 3 3 5 wide. You hardly see people blitzing. Um, it's right here, flat route, easy flat routes. We end up getting, you know, about seven yards, um, making it a first down. Honestly, I did not think that was going to be a first down. And, you know, we're looking good, man. We're looking good. We're playing the clock correctly. We're flipping the bunch, um, sipping the punch. You know, flipping bunch is kind of insane in this game. It's right here. Uh, this is a sign I like to see a lot. He was semi-struggling versus the run. I know I gave up a rushing touchdown, but that's just something like that. You know, it doesn't even really happen in this game. Um, I really don't know what was going on. None of us could stop the run. I think it was because we were, like, expecting to pass so much. Because, you know, we are both very, very good at passing the ball. And, you know, this is obviously Madden 22, super easy to pass on. But, yeah, man, so far, uh, you know, the runs have been easy to call. It's right here, another flat route, and I'll take it. And this time we stay in bounds, just looking really nice. He does have three timeouts, but, you know, I'm liking the way the clock is moving right now. You know, we're not really clocking ourselves. We have this two-minute warning on our side as well, which I love that a lot as well. It's right here, he is going to run cover two zone drops. We have a nice little wheel route. We'll take it, man. We'll take it. We'll take it. The clock keeps ticking, ticking, ticking. Nice little route combos. You know, they're, they're not the most, like, uh, you know, what I'm trying to think of the word, you know, most crazy route combos or rocket science route combos where there's so much going on. It's just simple route combos, and that's really how you have to play this year. And ge in general, in tournaments, you don't want to overcomplicate things. It's right here. We finally hit that corner out. And that play, compared to the first play, that one looked a little more scarier. And, you know, a little more tight coverage compared to the play b before. So, I mean, um, right now, you know, we're cooking. That play, unfortunately, went out of bounds. But we are cooking. It's a good drive so far. Uh, I love the way I'm playing on offense. Another inside zone. Like I was saying, man, he was having trouble with the inside zone. And I kind of saw that. And, you know, in the red zone, I'll pop inside zone any day of the week. Right here, man, deuce close. Um, this is what I probably should have ran in the red zone earlier. We run dive and look at that. It just looked really nice compared to what, um, you know, what we ran earlier. We ran a stretch. And, you know, he ran commit again. Um, he doesn't really care. Like, I would probably run commit too here because if I get ball, I'm fine. I'm chilling. We run the ball again. We don't get too many yards, but he did run commit, bring his safeties down. But I took away his timeout, you know. So even if we get three right here, I'm fine. We do get ball a half. Um, we'll, be, we'll be golden at that point. Right here, we try to just quick hike a little short side, and that's what we do, and we stay in balance. Double whammy for us, really good. Um, third and four, though, you know, it is going to be a little tough to score from down here. Um, and right here, I'm going to tell you my thought process. I come out in a random formation. This probably messed up with his head a little bit, um, but really what I wanted to do was just take the time all the way down to 15 seconds or whatever it may be. So peep the right. I'm going to call the timeout at one. There was no intention of me calling hike and gun spread. 
I just didn't want him to know like, oh, am I going to be in bunch? Am I being tight? What am I going to be in? Obviously, I ended up being in bunch, but you know, um, that timeout, you know, would have given him more time to think, okay, what do I want to do? So I just came out and spread. Uh, I'm, you know, there's probably like, he probably didn't even, you know, think I was going to be in spread, but this is why you use Danny Jones. This is a little, little bit of foreshadowing too, man. It's a little bit of foreshadowing too, but yeah, we played it perfectly. You know, he does have 13 seconds, but I'm, he's not going to end up scoring any points. We get ball at half, touchdown out of half. I can confidently say GG's in the chat. Let's just see how this end the game plays out. So guys, here we go. Five minute quarters, one half, 10 minutes of John Madden football on all Madden difficulty. We got to get the job done. And right here, he blitzes. Um, really good call, man. Uh, I don't know what I did on the right side, the left side, excuse me. I uh, sent out an out route by my running back. I'm pretty disappointed because that play is so good. I wish I could have got a little bit better blocking right there. And, you know, it is what it is. You know, just move on to the next play. But I did have that crosser wide open. If I was able to roll out, then it would be pretty much just a nice chunk play. It's right here. He's kind of getting a little aggressive. Um, we threw that a little too early. I mean, his guy was manned up to the tight end, so there's no way he was going to play that. And I had my tight end in a delay fade. But, you know, that did look a little scary. But, you know, just great play to bounce back from, you know, that first, first down. It's right here, man. We are manually chewing clock. Um, you know, the more time we take is better. But most importantly, we want to score. Maybe I shouldn't have taken the entire clock, but that's looking beautiful, man. I could have maybe bounced that out to the left a little bit, maybe got more yards, but, you know, I will take a second and two any day of the week. Right here, man, chewing clock once again. We are in bunch, and we run the ball again. This time, D-Ware says, nah, bro, you ain't getting no yards on me. I'm fine with that, though. You know, the clock keeps ticking third and three. It's super easy to get, and you know I'm going to go for four, uh, fourth down if it does come to that. Once more, flip the bunch, sip the punch, just taking all my time with me. And he kind of plays pretty good defense, except he doesn't scream. So what he did right there, he sent five. He manned up his outside cornerback to my running back. Beautiful adjustment. He manned up uh, the safety to the uh, solo side receiver. Another beautiful adjustment. And he played fives and no pressure came in. I get pretty unfortunate with that. I mean, I don't really know what happened if someone bumped in. Either way, you know, like, I'm going to throw it away or something. But this right here is the play of the game. Just watch this play. I'm not even going to say anything. Bruh. That right there entirely changed the game. I'm going to have to rewind that because there was just so much going on on that play. But look at this. How did he pick that off? So, obviously, this thing is right here. But look at this, guy. There's so many good things going on. I'm in bunch strong. Solo side post looking like a dot. That's a touchdown. If I throw it up right here in this area, I mean, this guy could always, you never know, play it, but the zones are just bad. This guy right here, you know, it's just to occupy this defender. But, bro, oh, my God. Look where I threw this ball. Look where Dante Jackson is at. I'm still dumbfounded that this actually got intercepted. I mean, I, this isn't even an unlucky play by, like, any of us. Like, this is just acrobat just insane play i can't even be mad i'm definitely just like the kind of confused like how did this happen but just look at it just gets worse like look at this i was kind of i don't know i think the ball lofted in the air to be fair um but i thought this was going to go towards the sideline and he just snags it and ends up picking that off i'm gonna have to rewind it one more time in real motion so, I mean, Pete Brandon Marshall on the left side, he's going to be wide open. And look at this, man. I just can't believe it. I'm still, that's that's a heartbreaking play, man. I mean, uh, some of you guys know that, you know, what the outcome of this game is. But, bro, that is insane. I still can't believe it. Uh, I had a wide open touchdown. I want to say the post was, but I just wasn't looking at it. I still would probably throw the same thing again if I had the chance. What people are saying or, you know, what my few friends were saying was that set feet lead right there didn't activate. I wasn't really paying attention. The ball kind of did loft in the air for quite a bit of time. Um, but what I'm kind of confused about is right here should have been a sack. We're fine with it, though. Um, what I'm confused about is, you know, I have route tech on that guy. I know it was acrobat, but I have route tech on that guy. I feel like every time that should be just a completion. I didn't throw a late at all. It had to be the Danny Jones set feet lead issue. But, I mean, that's if you want Dante Jackson, that's your sign to go get him. 
an insane play. Game isn't over at all. I don't know like why I'm like talking like that, but I mean that kind of just had me lost because I score seven right there. GG's in the chat. That play kind of just confused me entirely. Uh, here we go, man. He's cooking up on offense now. He's that's a sign of life right there. Um, he's gonna take advantage of it. It's right here. Uh, you know, not the best read, but you know, I will surely take it. He had the route out route on the right, wide open, the flood route. It's right here, man. He is gonna run this corner route play that I literally ran a little earlier in the game. Not really that many yards, but bro, make a tackle laterally. That kind of made me a little annoyed. It would have been like a third and seven or so compared to now at 30 inches but you know it is what it is you know i can't expect for too many stops in this game especially the way i've been playing defense you know i feel like i played i could play way better defense than what i showed or witnessed in this game it's right here once more he's gonna go back to the corner route play again and right here just a very bad user and everything is open if we're being real um corner i was open the right drag was open i was looking completely Fused out there on offense or defense, but man, he's gonna go back to this tight again for a third straight play, and he was absolutely cooking out of this formation. Um, just so many things were open. It's right here, manned up his delay fade. He had B wide open, guys. He had B so open, um, but he just didn't see it. Slash, he didn't want to throw across his body. Fair enough on a first down. Don't risk anything. It's right here. He is gonna go back to the tight once more. And running back open, we make great tackles. I will take that any day of the week. So, I mean, there's been glimpses of, you know, us playing decent defense. No pressure has been found. Um, for me, you know, I haven't cracked the code for the pressure to come in at all this game. And our coverage has been susceptible. Um, I probably butchered that word. But right here, man, there goes Danny Jones. I think that could have been a fumble, but he was on conservative. Not going to be tripping out about that. Um, but here we go, man. Fourth quarter is on the rise. This is going to get sweaty to the end. It's right here. He calls one last run play, gets in a couple yards, and here we go. Four's in the chat. It's right here, guys. He's going to hit this flood route. Fabian Moreau, if I get clicked onto him, that could have been a pick. I want to say that was a 10, man. I think I baseline pressed a 10. And wow, man. Fabian Moreau, six foot one or six foot, just wasn't reacting to that at all. It's all good, though. You know, I'm not expecting that to be picked, but there was a chance that could have been picked, man. Um, if they clicked me on him first, I could have maybe got a glitchy animation, but really haven't seen that be picked off at all. But here we go, man. I'm in the bad spot now where I'm down by four. So, you know, if you're playing the clock, you're playing the numbers right, you know that, like, touchdowns, field goals. Since we got held a field goal once and he scored three touchdowns, you know, he's going to be up four. He's going to have that four instead of a three. So, you know, even if I score a touchdown, he'll only need three points to tie it up compared to what I always need to get a touchdown. So... He has a numbers advantage right now. We have the possession advantage. Four minutes and 54 seconds, man. You guys think I could clock this out? I don't know, man, if I can. I've been playing really bad on defense, too. Um, this is a good play to start off if you want to clock, man. It took a nice couple seconds. We only get a certain amount of yards. And, you know, we could definitely clock this, man. But I was in this kind of, I don't know. You see the true clock goes on. I was in an in-between stage. Do I want to clock this or do I not want to? And right there, hiking the ball at six seconds really is in the move. And like like I said, I was in that no man's land. Like five seconds, is that enough? If it was four, I guarantee you I'd be able to clock that out. But five, man, five in this game, it seems tough to clock out. And obviously very doable, but the way like, I don't know, I felt like I hadn't been playing entirely like my best ball. It's right here, a play like that's going to help me out. You got to take your yards, I feel like. I could have went down, but there's no clocking at this point right there. I had a touchdown on the left side, too. Maybe not a touchdown, but a big chunk. He ran hard flats, and no pressure came in again. I really don't know what was going on with the pressure in this game. No one was sending heat. Uh, it was pretty much just a bunch of coverage sacks, coverage defense. It's right here. We're going to bounce it out with LT, and we score, man. I mean, that was pretty good stick, if we're being real, but you can't even be happy about it because here we go, man. He's only down by three, and he's 30 min uh, he has three minutes and 30 seconds. I was like, you know, I should have been happy about that play, but in reality, man, the way I've been playing defense in this game, not really the move. Four play drive. Um, there's a chance I could see this ball back. He only needs three, but we're going to have to get really, really stingy in this game. So, guys, I go in dollar, um, trying to just mix things up, make him uncomfortable. It's right here. He's going to run the ball, and, you know, he gets like three, four yards. I'm not too mad at that, but a lot of people have been running this dollar, and it looks pretty good. I'd been running it a couple days, not really at all, like enough for me to run, bust out in a tournament.
But why I wanted to run dollar a lot was because this type, man. This type audible was kind of getting me messed up. It's right here. We man up the running back. Actually, pretty good adjustments. Oh, that maybe could have been picked off if I freaking committed to it. The slant coming across the middle. There was just too much going on, man. If I was just in my bag, I would have hook curled that right safety. And that's just me. This is the first time I played tight. It's right here. Great defense. We maybe could have got a, a glitchy, you know, fluky pick. But, you know, that would be too much to ask for. But like I said, I had not played this tight at all. I was confused. I was looking for answers, man. And, you know, he kept audibling to it. And I felt like I played way better defense when I was in this tight. Uh, when he was in this tight when I was running dollar compared to, you know, in general. It's right here. We run coverage. Um, that was wide open, but big hit. And, you know, like I said, another third down. But, you know, can't even be too happy about it because he's only down by three. And he has so much time in the world. Um, let's see if he takes this to two-minute warning or if he calls. Like, I do believe he's going to take this to a two-minute warning. And he does. And right here, man, third and two, you know, not the biggest sounds. I've got to sell out. I should have sold out right here. We sent the pressure, everything open, and, bro, you should not be able to throw that, man. Ed Reed was right there. I was right there. I mean, that was pretty decent defense. I think he had the corner route open. But besides that, you know, we forced him to roll out right. Um, here, he's going to run the ball. Smart play. And he actually, let's see, he audibles. He does run the ball still. And that hurts right there. He actually gets a lot of yards for a first down. Um, if I was in my bag, you know, I, I should have shot that gap, man. Like, I don't know really how to shoot the gap, but, you know, those are things that'll come later on in the year. You got to shoot those gaps. Those second and threes turn into second and 11s, man. And that just makes it harder for the defense. It's right here. Um, just another great defensive drive uh, play. Uh, but honestly, Danny Jones is way too fast. And at this point, you know, he's been killing me with the rollout throws the rollout scrambles, and, you know, I was getting pretty frustrated. That's why I got in dollar. I wanted to send heat. I want to kind of contain him in the pocket. The coverage isn't the best, though, especially when he's in this two-minute drill. Right here, we're going to kind of hover up. We send the heat, and just no user play. This play really hurt us, too, because he ends up getting a first down. It was just super easy reads. Right here, man, he has a two-minute drill on his side. He has just can call hike as fast as he can. We get back in 3-3-5 wide. Great defense right here. He's going to actually get more yards on the scramble. What was my user doing there, chat? Could someone tell me? I clicked onto the guy, thought he was going to throw the delay fade. He ended up not throwing it. He ended up rolling out, getting his three yards. When in reality, we could have maybe held him to like zero, maybe even sacked him. But, you know, it is what it is. 32 seconds left. Um, this doesn't look like he could get a touchdown, honestly. I mean, it's, he has a lot of timeouts still. But we just have to play better defense, man. This is it, really. Right here, he ends up throwing it to the running back, gets too many yards. That play hurt us as well. As well, We actually screamed, and we just didn't commit to the flats. Look at this play, guys. If I do commit to the flats, it's just, oh, my God. The pressure would have came in. He would have just had to throw it away or something else. Um, he was just going to be on a timer right there. And that's, like I said, just me not playing enough tight, man. This tight is insane. Um, there's just so much you could do out of the tight. You can't really blitz it too well. And the one time you do blitz... Guess what? Your user's all jacked up. It's right here. We get a nice screamer. That's what we needed. He's going to have to call that timeout. It turns into a second and 15. And right here, we could kind of play passive. Um, I don't even know, man. This pl next play is going to be the biggest play of the game, probably. At this point, I'm pretty sure he knows that he's going to get three. I'm trying to sack him out of field goal range or something. I'm playing pretty he uh, hard-headed right here. It's right here. You see me? I'm trying to set up a blitz. Just not the move, man. Not the move whatsoever. We were in cover four right here. He has a, I don't even know. We don't get any pressure at all and a terrible user. The worst user you could ever imagine. He falls down at the six. Let's rewind that. So he ends up getting 26 yards. Chat, this is, I don't know. I didn't get really any sheds. Um, but this is not it, man. This is not it whatsoever. This is a bag. This is not open at all. I mean, maybe... You can't, I don't even know what I was using in chat. I really don't. I'm just going to keep watching this play. Right here, I just got to jump right there. And I'm not saying I'll pick it off, but he's not going to get that many yards. Just, oh, that was super dumb by me. He gets all the way to the six with 17 seconds left. He doesn't have any timeouts, but, you know, if he was like at the 15, I'd be feel much safer than him being at the six. And, you know, right here, he's going to go to bunch. I had to watch the flat routes, man. I really do have to watch the flat routes. I've played this situation multiple times. Um, 
the flip right here. We try to send the pressure. We don't contain. And GG's. Daniel Jones is too fast. And that's just a heartbreaking loss. I want to rewind this real quick because I did send five. Um, I think this, I don't even know how he was able to roll out. I sent five. I think I should have hovered more. Yeah, right here, this, these two guys kind of got bumped up. Um, and besides that, I felt like I played pretty good defense on the on that play. Just very bad users. Um, you know, busted coverages cost us the game. And I'm saying cost because, yes, we do lose in the round of 32 in the first tournament. Looking back on this, um, you know, a couple plays definitely lost us the game. 13-play drive is going to do it to you also. And, yeah, that's just a tough, that's a tough pill to swallow, but, you know, it is what it is. I did not play my best game on defense. I know I'll get better as the year goes on. We all know that. I kind of start off the year a little slow always, and it is what it is, man. I'll be back for the Thanksgiving tournament. Just be on the lookout for that. But this one play, man, this one play, man, I still like so. And I rolled out too. I'm lost. I should, probably should have thrown it. I don't even know, man. This is, this is a great game, man, to Canes. Um, if you didn't know, he ended up making the final eight. He made the live event. He had an insane way to go. He uh, beat K-Mac. He beat me. He beat J-Wall. And then he beat Allen to make the final eight. I can't hang, you know, I can't hang my head too low because I end up losing to someone who made the event. Like I said, man, a few plays could cost you the game. I'll be back, though. Don't even worry. Just, you know me, I'm going to have to take a couple days to rebounce. But I will be back on the stream, the content, all that good stuff. I'm happy for my guy. Um, the eight guys who did make the tournament, it is all official now. And this, like I said, this gameplay might not drop like immediately because I do want to keep his info confidential. That's my guy. So if anything, you know, I'll drop it, you know, if he ever, you know, hopefully not. But if he loses in the tournament or, you know, what if whenever the tournament ends, I'll probably end up dropping this gameplay. You know, I don't think it'll do the same amount of views, but it is what it is. I got to keep that info confidential. But um, the eight guys who made it, Clef, John Beast, Joke, Henry, that's the PS4 side, PS5 side, and then the four on Xbox would be um, Ice, Fancy, and um, Drini, and then one more guy would be Canes. That's the eight. Sorry, this info is fairly new. It probably dropped like an hour or two ago, so that's that. But till next time, guys, hopefully you guys did enjoy this gameplay. You know, I'm not too sour anymore as, what, as I was yesterday. It hurt. It sucks. It is what it is. I know I probably would have made the tournament if I won this game. I mean, it would be tough, man. I had to beat Jay Wall and Allen, too. It is what it is. You know, sometimes it's about the road there, too. But till next time, guys, I'll catch you guys. Take it easy. Much love.